Hi student, today we are going to start the new topic, topic number 4 of paper 2. Already we have to complete topic number 1st and 2nd of first uh, of second topic. Today we are going to start the next topic that is uh, environmental management. We know that environment is necessary for all living organisms. In the environment, in the environment different living organisms and non-living organisms are present. From the environment, we first understand the first point that is the ecosystem. Ecosystem. Ecosystem is the biotic and abiotic factors combined to form an ecosystem. There is a interactions between interactions between uh, biotic and abiotic factors to form ecosystem. Biotic factors means living organism and abiotic factor means non-living organism. So they are combined to form an ecosystem. In an ecosystem, different living organisms are are alive, and every living organisms are uh, every living organisms are depend the another living organism for food purpose. We know that the uh, the plants, animals, uh, microorganisms. These are the uh, organ. These are the uh, living organisms are also uh, also present in the environment. Plants. Plants are the producers. They can prepare their own food with help of a photosynthesis process. So in the ecosystem, plants are the producers. Producers means they can prepare their own food with help of a photosynthesis. Then next animals. Animals are animals. Most of the animals are herbivores. Herbivores means they depend, they use, they can use, they use their food. They depend the food on plants. Look at this. Herbivores, some herbivorous animals are as I have to given as the deer, goat, cattle, sheep. These are the animals are depend the food on plants. Plants are the producers. They can prepare their own food with help of photosynthesis process. Herbivorous means those plant, those animals which can depend on the plant for food purpose, they are said to be herbivorous. Then predators, predator means carnivorous animals, lion, uh, lion, <coughs> lion and uh, and tiger. These are the animals and other uh, and uh, fox also. Fox, uh, these are the animals are depend the depend. On herbivorous animals, they use the herbivorous animals for food purpose. So, over population of these herbivorous animals can control with help of predators. Look at this predators. All these in an ecosystem, all these stay, all these organisms are depend to each other for food purpose. Herbivorous animals are depend on plants for food purpose. Predators are also important. They they use they use the food of a herbivorous animal. Look at this. So, overpopulation of these herbivorous animals are controlled with help of a predator, that is the lion and tiger. Lion and tiger, which prevent the overpopulation of a herbivorous animals. So, we have to control, we have to control the herbivorous animals which are present into the environment. Next, also in a, our environment, in an ecosystem, some living organisms are also necessary, also important. For example, <coughs> cater, <coughs> cater, caterpillars, caterpillars, termites, insects, these organisms are, these living organisms are present into the environment. They, they are very useful, they can clean the environment, the, they can clean the environment. So, all these factors, all these factors are necessary. So, we should care of all these factors which are present into the ecosystem. So, in an ecosystem, biotic and abiotic factors are, uh, are present and there is interactions between them, between them. Each factor is a uh, response, each factor is important. Each factor is important in an ecosystem. The producers, herbivores, predators, also some of the living organisms, some of the microorganisms such as a caterpillar, um, uh, uh, next term, termites, insect, 
these are the living organisms in the environment so all these factors uh, all these factors we should we should care of all these factors in the ecosystem then we have to discuss about the food chain we know that food is a necessary uh, all living organism the human being the three basic needs of a human beings are as food cloth and shelter these are the three basic necessities and food we have to obtain from the plants plant is a plants are the producers they can prepare their own food so in the in the ecosystem food chain different food chains are present so first we have to discuss about the food chain in the ecosystem look at this grass grass is the food of grasshopper grasshopper is the food of a frog frog is the food of a snake snake is the food of eagle and waste material of a waste material material of a eagle um, which are uh, which are mixes into the soil and and, and uh, again food chain is a start uh, in the in this way so in this food chain if producers if any factor of a living organism is a, uh, is increases or number of a, any number of a, any uh, animals are increases uh, then such animals are dangerous to the ecosystem suppose number of, uh, number of snakes are increases and the number of snakes are increases in the environment then in the environment uh, these snakes are also dangerous to the human being so they can control with help of a food chain with if there is a disturbance in a food chain so uh, food chain collapse and it is not it is dangerous to the ecosystem so in a food chain we have to given as grass grasshopper frog frog snake eagle and waste material so <coughs> if we have to given in our uh, in our question in exam uh, write a note on food chain so we have to label uh, first we have to draw the food chain in this food chain the all these factors are depend on another living organism for food purpose grass which is a producers look at this in a food chain grass grass is a uh, producers <coughs> producers grasshopper then grasshopper is the food of a frog frog is the food of a snake eagle and waste material means every living organism in a food chain depend on another living organism for food chain for, for food purpose so it is a food chain which is a responsible which can control all living organism in the ecosystem so next point we have to understand the ecosystem look at this we have to join in a uh, in our books on page number 37 the chart we have to give one we have to complicate this chart look at this in this chart ecosystem there are two types of ecosystem we have to fill this chart there are two types of ecosystem biotic factor and abiotic factor abiotic factor means air uh, air uh, water air water soil these are the abiotic factor then biotic factor and abiotic factor these are the two parts of an ecosystem then next abiotic factor has again divided into two parts physical physical factor and chemical factor in a physical factor we have to given as in our chart in the books the physical factors are air water vapor minerals sand and sunlight these are the physical factors chemical factor uh, which are the chemical factors waste material urine carbon and hydrogen waste material urine carbon and hydrogen these are the chemical factors the next then chemical factors are again divided into two parts inorganic substance and organic substance inorganic substance we have to give one the hydrogen oxygen nitrogen calcium iron sodium potassium these are the inorganic substances and organic substance we have to given um, proteins carbohydrates and fats so these are the abiotic factors then biotic factor in biotic factor living organisms are uh, present 
सो बायोटिक फैक्टर एट्रोट्रॉफिक एंड हिट्रोट्रॉफिक बायोटिक फैक्टर अगेन डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट एट्रोट्रॉफिक एंड हिट्रोट्रॉफिक एट्रोट्रॉफिक मीन्स दो लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम विच कैन प्रिपेयर देयर ओन फूड which can prepare the own food they are said to be heterotrophic most of the plants are heterotrophic and heterotrophic means those organism which cannot make their own food and depend the food on food for another living organism they are said to be heterotrophic most of the animals are heterotrophic all the animals are heterotrophic so heterotrophic producers who is a producer plant plant is a producer plant can make their own food so heterotrophic in heterotrophic producer is given producer are plants plants produce plants can prepare their own food in the ecosystem so plants are said to be you know, producers then heterotrophic heterotrophic animals and decomposers these are the heterotrophic animals animals mane kon hai heterotrophs Uh, animals are heterotrophic and decomposers means microorganisms microorganisms decomposes the food decomposes the uh, organic material or decomposes the different types of food then uh, next heterotrophs heterotrophs there are three types of heterotrophic primary secondary and tertiary consumer primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer so in this way we have to complete this chart look at this this chart is about the ecosystem there are two types of ecosystem biotic and abiotic abiotic factor physical and chemical in a chemical waste material waste material urine carbon and hydrogen next waste material mean again divided into two parts organic and inorganic organic protein carbohydrate fats inorganic uh, hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphorus all these are the gases are present biotic factor again divided into two parts heterotrophic and heterotrophic heterotrophic means producers heterotrophic means plants plants uh, sorry heterotrophic means animals and decomposers then producers are plants they can prepare their own food heterotrophics are generally animals and uh, decomposers animals heterotrophic decomposers means microorganisms there are three types of uh, animals which are heterotroph primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer so we have to stop here